Orphan Acres uh, has been established since 1975. Uh, we just celebrated 40 years. We are an equine wildlife rescue rehab and sanctuary. Um, we've had over 4,000 animals go through the sanctuary here, the rescue and sanctuary. The animals come in for all different reasons, uh, court orders, humane societies, individuals that are having problems. Um, we take them, we rehab them, and find new homes. At present, we have um, 80 head of horses here. There are two donkeys. Uh, we have five totally blind horses. Uh, we have several horses with one eye. Uh, that are blind in one and have good vision in the other eye. We've got everything from draft horses down to miniature horses. We have a lot of older horses. Uh, our oldest horse right now is either 46 or 47. And there's one right behind him, about a year behind that. And there's a 43. We are also one of the few rescues that will take on old stallions. The one that just stood up is Buford. The Palomino laying down is Trigger. The other one laying over here is Badge. The one standing eating up there is Miss D. The gray mare here, this is uh, Serene. She's an ex racehorse. She has feet that are too small for the size of the horse she is. They ran her on the tracks and basically did a bunch of hoof damage and they just literally ran her feet off of her. Every horse has a name and every horse has a story. And some of the stories that come from these horses is just unbelievable. Bad, bad situations. Uh, people wanted to put them down. Um, one horse he got, they didn't want him and so they turned him out where there were cougars and the cougar attacked the horse and got these big scratch marks on all the way down his back, but the horse killed the cougar and uh, Brent wound up with him. Had it not been for Brent, these horses would have probably been disposed of. Uh, we're trimming feet here today. Sam Steele, our horseshoer, comes down once a month to uh, trim feet for us and keep all of their hooves in, in good condition. This is all able to be done because of people like Sam who come down and donate and give their time and care about the animals. Uh, that's what makes Orphan Acres run and that's what keeps us going. We're 100% volunteer operation. Everything is done by volunteers. The volunteers do anything from cleaning stalls to helping doctor horses, to build fences, to help with construction of buildings. We put out tons of bales of straw that we use for bedding so that the horses out here aren't standing in mud and they have dry, clean places to, to uh, lay down. We put out our straw bales about twice a week. So this is all made possible because of volunteers and because of people that want to volunteer and help and, and people that want to help support what we do. There's this person in the world out here on the Palouse that is just absolutely the most amazing person. I mean, his love for horses, he's had at one time over 100 horses at, at one time. And the care they get and his knowledge and his passion. Uh, I've seen Brent out there with a broken arm, a broken thumb, all on the same limb. And I called him up and I said, my gosh, Brent. He said, well, nobody's missed a meal yet. <laughs> and uh, that's, just, that's just what he does. I mean, it's just amazing. There is just something about horses that are, uh, I think it was uh, Winston Churchill, the outside of the horse is good for the inside of the man. They're very gentle, they're very kind, they're very forgiving animal. They're just an animal that if you spend a whole lot of time around, they just kind of grow on you. They want attention, they want to be cared for, they, they like people, they will basically do anything for you if they trust you and they, they really care about you. Uh, they will take care of you. They just attach to people in a way that is very therapeutic. The horses just kind of are a good place to go put your arm around and hug them. And the horse is always there. <laughs>